I'll make no bones about it, but my expectations are so, so high. I've got the Swarovski Range ELTAs here, the new range finding binoculars from Swarovski. These have got to be good. The range binocular from Swarovski has been out for about 10 years now, and this is their newest one. So what's actually changed from the old one? First of all, it, they've, they're now using the sort of Swarovski vision um, coatings on the lenses, so therefore the, the actual kind of clarity is probably a lot better. The field of view is, is about 10% wider, so that's a, a gain. And uh, they've got this little natty thing here, which uh, this kind of headrest thing, which we've I've talked about for, before on the on the other NL Pures. And I suppose the probably the most important thing is going to be is that they've got a full integration via Bluetooth with a mobile phone. And this is probably the most exciting part of it. On the range finding, they now go from 10 meters to just over 2,000 meters. Uh, okay, for most of us say, well, so. But if you're a bow hunter, actually 10 meters is probably where you need to start. So this may well actually be quite attractive to the bow hunter. Okay, 2,000 meters is, is it getting out there. So they've increased the range of capability of it. And it's available in two models at the moment, 8x42 and the 10 40, and 10 by 42 So I suppose the question I, I had to ask myself is, are these the most technically advanced binoculars ever produced? Perhaps you'll come to the conclusion at the end of this because these are very, very clever. I'd about to swear then. These are very, very clever. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got a tracking assistant, okay, which works with a mobile phone or on their own. It's got its own inbuilt integrated GPS system that works very closely with the range finding system. So that's pretty darn clever. So what? Well, if I'm for instance, on the hills of Scotland, and I'm, I've, I've shot an animal and I've, and I've pinged it, I can actually pinpoint where that animal is. So therefore, getting to it is not a problem because I can just go straight to it all to, around it. If I was spotting in Scotland or on the mountains of, um, of, of, of France, and I'm, I'm, you know, I could be half a mile, a mile away, I can see Shamar up on the hill, I think, right, okay, fine. What we need to do is to get to the, over there, we need to go around over there and go around the back because the wind's wrong or the train's wrong. Well, I can ping it and that will, that will hold that coordinate, that will store that coordinate within this binocular. So I can go anywhere and end up in the same point. And that is really, really clever. So they are a aid to field craft. They don't take your skills away. They just basically, it just tells you where that animal is. And that's absolutely brilliant, especially after you've shot it and you go looking across and get right, hang on a minute. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. I walk across there. How many times have you walked across a, a field or a, a, a mountainside and you think you're actually on it, in fact you're 100 metres the wrong way and you spend an hour and a half trying to find it, it's actually where it was in the first place. No more with these. So let's talk about the more complicated stuff, the software within this, this, this gadget. It will communicate with a mobile phone. Okay, it's nothing new, but actually it's quite new for Swarovski, so therefore they can start communicating. So you need to download the Swarovski Range EL app and that will integrate with these binoculars. It, it, it hunts for them, it searches for them, and basically you've got it on there. Then once you've done that, you can start picking certain things. It, it's got an ammunition database there, ballistic database there, so you can put the calibre in and everything else. It's all there for you, very similar to a lot of other data programmes. Also, it gives you a whole list of all the different Swarovski scopes, only Swarovski scopes at the moment, but it's all there so you can pick and choose to so integrate it. But once the app's there, this is when the fun starts. So what else do these two do for you? Well, I have to read the list out, there's quite a few. Obviously, we've got distance in, in metres and yards. It's got a compass, it's got a GPS system within itself, thanks to the Sputniks flying around up there. Angle of the shot, it gives you that, that's nothing new, a lot of them do it. But it measures the temperature, it measures the air pressure. And it goes on even more than that. The, uh, when you ping anything, it gives you the correction. So therefore, if you're 300 metres, it'll tell you how many centimetres high. So it measures in centimetres, inches, mil radians, um, clicks, MOA, it's all there for you. So I can go ping, as with many other range finding binoculars, it goes ping, 300 metres, you need to be 20 centimetres high, whatever. It's all there ready for you. But I suppose it's really the, the track assistant, to me, it is the, the most exciting part of this. Um, and that track assistant, 
allows you to hold the data of three different rifles. So you can have different scopes, you can have different ammunition, but it allows you to store them on there. So therefore, once I get them talking to each other, I can actually pick and choose. I think actually the whole concept of KISS, keep it simple stupid, is out the window. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, I think with practice, and, and I've been practicing this for, for a few months now, and, and I've got hold of it. I've had some issues with GPS and not logging on, Bluetooth issues and everything else, and I think that's all part of it. I think if you're 20 years younger, you think that's normal. To me, I get frustrated and throw things in the air, but that's by the by. But it's technology and it's using it, and with enough practice, it does make life a lot easier. What else is out there which can offer you so much functionality, optically and in the technology side. So I think actually they do tick a lot of boxes. And I can see of my years of experience how many times this would have saved me so much time. So there is a precise application or need for this. Spotting those animals on the hill and going around to them and getting to the right location. Taking that pinpoint coordinate of the animal which you shot and walking towards it and making sure you, you, you know you know where it is that that is brilliant it really is so I think it's just good for Swarovski I don't know how they can better this optically it's brilliant and it's got the technology as well so well done Swarovski